It's not a blowjob in my time, but this is taking the biscuit. <laughs> right, so I've been given this little doggy basket. Well, I say doggy basket. It's a doggy, I'm going to open the door. It's very warm in here. Oh, I've got an invasion of ladybirds. This is a problem. I have a, an invasion of ladybirds in my crevices. So, <clears throat> my friend Kirsty, round the corner, mad Kirsty. She's lovely. She was from, uh, she come from London. She's moved in the country. So it's nice to have somebody that, you know, isn't just country, isn't just all about horse shit and, you know, loving ladybirds in their, in their crevices. Um, so she gave me this, it's a little doggy crate and her dog was called Tulip. Obviously my dogs aren't called that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover it up with a little bit of paint and then I'm just going to put a stencil on it or something, something very simple. Right, what kind of, it's my little, it's my little collection. I think I might go for a darker colour there. Go for chic shadow. I'm going to do chic shadow. So that's going to be the under and that'll be where I'm going to do my stencil. <laughs> my dad always tells me off because he's a painter and decorator about the, um, going with the grain or something. I've never gone with the grain, darling. If I've gone with the grain, I would have married with three kids and my bed would have been completely messed up. There's a lot of men who have mid-crisis in their 40s, go out and buy big cars and sleep with prostitutes. Not me, I started stenciling. I know, I've, I mean, I didn't really do that myself, you know, I didn't think that I needed to go out and sleep with lots of women, I don't know why. I mean, you know, it just didn't really do it for me. And as for big cars, quite frankly, you know what's that about big cars, don't you? Men that buy, buy men that drive big cars. I'm much happier in my Hyundai, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's the small ones that pack a punch. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to be wasting your precious time while you're waiting for paint to dry, so you should do something constructive. I think the paint might be dry. Oh, there you go. Lovely and dry. Ready for a sense so I need my plate back. Another one, you've got to shake. Just a gentle roll, really, you shouldn't push it. They say don't push or pull, but I don't see, see the point of doing it if you're not going to push and pull myself. But I might have messed it up, Shannon, at the last minute. Right, you can always mend your mistake. The majority of my beautiful work is disappearing. So once again, what do you do while you're waiting for paint to dry? nice tight glutes and I didn't touch any lines. Right, I think I've revived the situation. Oh God, I've done some blowjobs in my time, but this is taking the biscuit. <laughs> I mean, from a distance, let me get Lola in it. She secretly blowed one to sit in it. You too fat, sit down. What about if you just lay down? Lay down, can you? I think she's too fat for it. <laughs> Upcycled a dog basket. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and is in the basket. What more can I say? It's a day, it's a wonderful day. And I've got the rest of the day to do whatever I want. 